How's it going, ladies and first is on Bobby Six Killer, and welcome back to Nirvana Initiative. All right, I'm ready. I'll start myself up. Let's go talk to Oda. He's the only one left, so we have no choice, really. Let's do it. And then, I don't know, maybe a Somnium again? It's been a while. Maybe. Man, this sucks. I heard he talked my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big Sis, perhaps you should help them? Big Sis? Ah, that's just what I call Mizuki. Ah. And you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last night. Correct. Should he be in school? Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. I remember now. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, Iris told me that. So, why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. Any clues? Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked, and then a body showed up out of nowhere. Man, bad things just happen around you, don't they, Mizuki? I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Why were you on the show last night? I already heard the details from Iris. But confirming the consistency of testimony is part of my job. Iris had an offer to appear on the show. So she was asked to bring another talent from Lemnus Gate, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the president of Lemnus Gate, I couldn't just turn it down. President? Aren't you 12? Well, her parents are dead. <laughs> it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after Daddy. I saw Mr. Date earlier. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father, so I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent and utility bills too. Oh. Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris, so I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. Nice, let's talk to you then. Are you a student of Seiko Bahai? I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buff, Ryuki. I didn't take you for a pervert. Ah. <sighs> Because he is good friends with Iris and Mame, too. But I didn't take you for a pivot, Arda. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? Do you mean a Mame Doi? Yeah. Then I do know her. I met her at Sekiba High earlier. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. You like dancing, huh? Yes, I most certainly do. However, I am not very good at it. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. I mean, it's a job, right? Why do you call Mizuki that? Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. Elegance? I don't know, man. <laughs> it, is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. Yeah, but she's very grown up for her age. About the incident last night. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes. Did you not? Are you certain you're... okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot as She's all. She's seen some shit, man. <laughs> you're done. Alright, Oda, talk to you. Your name? Are you Mr. Ota Matsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Oh yeah, you're famous. Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. He's linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. That's how I know his name and age. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. Yeah, this is what polite looks like. Does anyone else work here? Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Tama, are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita. 
can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. Do you have a girlfriend? Th that came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. You met her yesterday, right? Tessa. The girl named Iris Sagan. Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? <laughs> Jesus, this is not the time or place, man. Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby face guys that know how to cook? Ugh, no shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. A prince? I yearn to be a princess. I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Glass slipper? Who the hell's that guy? <laughs> Ota? Who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Is he Prince Charming? Um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. <laughs> that does not surprise me. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? How lovely it would be to dance in them. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? <laughs> that is true. They have no grip, and if they broke, they'd tear your feet apart. Just ruining it, that's okay. About the incident last night. Man, that was crazy. I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were going to be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it. No, not the whole thing. Too scary. Too scary. I pulled the blankets over my head. I saw the one before, though. The one before? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Ah. I know of that one as well, the mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Yes, we've heard of it, recently. Yup. There was some kind of code hidden in it too. According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? Bats 490, secret of the world. Iris and Amame mentioned the same thing. Uh, should we talk to this guy? Oh shit, where the hell did he go? Oh man, I'm gonna turn this way. Hello. Excuse me? Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want, jerk? I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. He's gonna drink a million of them. Uh, how are you? It's all right now! Because I am here! God damn it. How are you, young boy? Now we're doing All Might again. <clears throat> Guess he's not doing too good. Your name? Pardon me, but may I ask your name? There's no response. He seems to be depressed. I say we dive into his brain. Let's sink. Are we done here? Oda? about bats 490. The video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Guess that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means bats though. 420. Were you able to decode it? <laughs> no way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that secret of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means Alternate Reality Game. The Game Master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. I know what an ARG is, come on. Players <laughs> decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. I watched my fair share of Nexpo and Nightmind and shit, come on. <laughs> Hey, Kizzy, I want to see you dance. Where did this come from? I want to see too. Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Not really. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. Thank you.
<laughs> she agreed pretty quick, huh? Because somebody didn't agree to anything. Connor seems to be cheered up after that. <laughs> Is he here for her then? If we leave and she gets kidnapped. I know your name. You're Kizuna, aren't you? I heard you introducing yourself earlier. My name's Lian. Lian Twining. And I'm 22 years old. My father's American and my mother's Japanese. So, Kizuna, I want you to marry me. Huh? Uh... Are you okay? No! I'm not okay! My heart feels like a jackhammer. Like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second! Why are you here? Actually, I got fired yesterday. Not a good time to be proposing then, my dude. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. I'm not an alcoholic beers. But... You were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank clerk. What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me. And I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. I dislike people who don't work hard. All right. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow! This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. Yeah, he's pretty not threatening. <laughs> You're joking about the marriage thing, right? Of course this isn't a joke. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. There is so much darkness building inside me. But she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Kizuna made that dream come true for me! Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her! Uh, you kinda have to get her to agree to that. <laughs> Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. <sighs> Shocker. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Probably not a good idea. No, thank you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. Anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! I think you mean try, try again. I think this is more accurate. <laughs> now, we haven't obtained much useful information. That's true. There's no point in staying here for too Just long. Just the bets for 20 thing. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Back to Abyss HQ. You're going back to Abyss? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Yeah, there's all of like two bits of it. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Scream like a little girl, I mean she's gonna kill me. 
Who are we? Who are you? Uh, who are you? Shut up! Stop shouting! But you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? Well, I drink a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. This is Tama when she's in her humanoid form. It's just a virtual image, she doesn't have a physical body. Tama is projecting an augmented reality or AR image through my left eye. So. Why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Okay, go on then. About the reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yes. Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just for some reason it's stuck in my head. And what else could it be? What do you think of this cat? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he... Oops. Sorry. Organize. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. No. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the ward salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago, a video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Yeah, yeah. The mysterious video known as BATS 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside BATS 490. Is the code 490? I did it, I cracked the code. What a genius. <laughs> they say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama, is BATS 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. Oh yay, another crazy video to watch. Well, I like it. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. It's giving me a lot of uh, nice vaporwave uh, vibes. I like it. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. There's error messages? Perhaps? Where did Bats 490 come from? Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube. Then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, BATS 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Obviously, let's do that. Somehow. <laughs> Can't be that hard, Jesus. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about BATS 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in BATS 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Shoma? As in... the, uh... the host guy's son, right? He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! Okay. 
So is he Shoma. not missing me? Isn't that? Andy's Komeji's. Let's go see him. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Here, he's going through his rebellious phase right now. It's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> uh, what are you making? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. Definitely a bomb. About your father? Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? About Mizuki? I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. About the Bats 490 code? You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? Wow, helpful, thanks. He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. Oh man, we're doing a somnium now? What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god you said uvula, that's not what I thought you said. Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. That's gotta be a Somnium thing, right? It's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. That robot is so cool! Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Okay. Is this a puppet for the quiz? No patient chest of drawers. Picture doesn't seem to be the key. Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? God, please help. You can help yourself. I'm just going to keep clicking things until it works. Do you want to watch TV together? Why don't you try going under the Kotatsu? You'd probably run away. I would if I was him. That's creepy. A toolbox. What is that? Robot? It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. That's what he's making then. A homemade robot, huh? Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Show him the, show him the eye. He'd be like, Stark this. It's pretty cool. Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay then. Just for a bit, okay? Man, that's so cool. I want one. <laughs> you made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. That's cool. It's a machine part. Uh, compliment strongly? That's really amazing! I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself! A genius like you must be one in a hundred million! No, no. I'm not that special. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. We did it. About your father? Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. But sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because... Why does it matter? Oh, he's angry again. About Komeji's connection to the Yakuza? He's probably not going to like that. Uh, uh, about Mizuki. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. Even though she's cute? 
that Ogo? She's not cute at all. Right. <laughs> the temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I can tell. Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell no, me. No, I think short version will do me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. I see. So that's where it came from? I heard about it last night on the news. It's a very official sounding. Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. About Jin? I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Not a lot of crossover, no. <laughs> about the QR video. Ah, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. So that's how you get test subjects. They come here and then you kidnap them and use them for your genetic research. Diabolical. Perhaps someone just made it up. I don't think so. What were you doing around 6am on the 9th? Jin's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. I've always wanted to be doing my job. It happens so rarely. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. About the Institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Vaguely. Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. I didn't understand that at all. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using PURGE, even immortality is achievable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, red flag. Red flag. <laughs> immortality? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Ageless. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage, but it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years, it will soon become a reality. I hate to be a downer, but I feel like if, if humans could be immortal, that would bring about the apocalypse. That would be really bad. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? I'm not so sure about that. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Jikara? 
You think so? Many thanks. You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. Oh, ouch. Demo. Huh. He's hot. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Oh, ouch. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Should we slap him about a bit? Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brainwaves of the sink subject and temporarily look into their dream. Select Chikara with the cursor. Choose wink sink to view a simplified version of his dream. Okay, oh, but we're out of time. How long will it take? So like a proper sink, is it, that takes ages? Because we're already at half an hour. <sighs> this guy... Wink Sink is a simplified version of sinking, but you're still taking a look inside their dreams. And dreams are made from memories, so there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Bats 490. Yeah, he's looking at it. He was lying to us earlier. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? Oh, that's a lot easier what? than normal. Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Then we'll have to arrest you. Very well. I'll go with you. Are we doing a proper sync now? I guess we're doing a proper sync. So wing sync is just to verify there's something to sync for. Well you know what that means. It's time to wrap this episode up here because we're out of time for today. Because we know that the next episode is going to be a sync episode and it's going to take the entire episode to do it. At least. Settle in for probably a long one, actually. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>